All right, I have something to say real quick. How do they expect you to be able to do these adventures while also grinding trunks? Like, did they expect no one to want to max him out like as quickly as possible and prioritize these adventures over the Zenkai ones? Or did they just expect everyone to already have all of the resources and not need to do Zenkai adventures and again, do these? I mean, the rewards aren't even worth it. Sure, 100 crystals at 150,000 of these damn things. That is the only thing here that's worth anything. Like, genuinely, out of all out of all the rewards here, that 100 crystals... Because these... Uh, let's see. Yeah, those aren't guaranteed sparkings, which make them virtually useless. I mean, you could pull... There, there's going to be someone who's going to pull, you know, Vegito Blue off of one of those tickets, if not both of them. Those people are going to exist, but... I'd say 99.9% .9 of people are just going to get some hero unit off of them. So they're vir they're virtually worthless. The game gives you plenty of these. You don't need to grind those. I'm sure by now everyone's already bought the Shenron sleeves and anything else they wanted through these coins. So that's worthless. Like, not only are these adventures completely worthless. I mean, through, through the rewards, that is. But also, why would you ever prioritize those adventures over the Zenkai adventures? I mean, like, come on, let's let's take a look at the exchange shop then, right? Maybe the normal rewards aren't good, but let's take a look at the actual exchange shop. It's it's your average exchange shop, just they also have these. There's nothing here worthwhile unless you need quick souls. And if I'm being honest, if you need souls for Zenkais, I would actually just recommend that you do the bonus battle so that you can grab uh, the normal rising adventures as well. Do those adventures and just get more souls for doing nothing than you would like like all, all together there's no reason to do this this uh adventure event here the legends anniversary adventure and the fact that they honestly think that people are going to prioritize this over the zenkai adventures considering how the zenkai adve adventures give you a you know likely to be a uh, top tier free to play unit and whereas this gives you a coin or like a few coins like three summon tickets and a hundred crystals <laughs> like what huh i don't I, I don't i don't quite understand like i want to understand but i don't quite uh un understand it if if i'm being completely honest with you but yeah i don't if you're doing these adventures, stop. Just do Zenkai adventures, unless, of course, you're already done with trunks. And, like, I, I guess people who did already have the resources can do the adventures, but again, for the other, like, 90% of people, if you're doing these adventures, just stop. Just focus on the Zenkai adventures. Even if you have all seven slots, use all seven for the Zenkais. Trust me, you're gonna need them. I don't know. I, I just I just felt like making this video because I don't see the point in adding those adventures considering there's already adventures we have to do to get trunks done. Now granted you could do trunks whenever but like I said most people are going to want to try and soul boost them as quickly as possible. They're going to prioritize the Zenkai adventures right now over the normal adventures again because those rewards are trash. The exchange shop is the same as it always is. They call it a Legends Anniversary the Adventures, but they're no different from a normal, from any normal adventure. You get the second anniversary coins, great. That's the only thing that's different from normal adventures. You got the second anniversary coins because they always give you normal summon tickets for whatever step up is out. They always give you 100 crystals really late in the game for no reason. Like really late in the adventures for no reason. They always give you a bunch of miscellaneous uh, prizes every so often, which are good. I would recommend you do adventures like this when there isn't a Zenkai unit out. But I, I just I just don't see the point in even introducing those when you have Zenkai trunks. I don't know. Let me let me let me know what you guys think of the whole Legends Anniversary adventures. I think for for an anniversary celebration. Those rewards are garbage. They should, those should have at, at minimum been guaranteed sparkings. Then I can see you actually prioritizing those adventures over the Zenkai ones. But no, like I, if, if they had given us like 20 of those coins, you know, like 
10 guaranteed sparking tickets for each banner and like a thousand crystals, which is what they probably should have done since it's an anniversary. Uh, yeah, then I would have been like, by all means, wait, prioritize these adventures over the Zenkai ones. But the fact that it's no different from any normal adventure thing, adventure grind, whatever you want to call it, 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 it just seems to have no reason to exist, I guess. I don't know. I just, I just felt like I should say something about it. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about it uh, in the comments down below. But if you agree with anything I said in this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'll see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Peace.